Potter's Journal, May 2020. Garden art, garden pillars. Okay, why am I looking at this? Well, people turn away from videos pottery making this time of year to the garden. So I'm going to look to the garden too and we're going to turn back to making some garden art. And okay, I said last week, don't be a starving artist. Plant a garden. We did it this year in the early season and now there is snow coming in May so everything is tucked in under the blankets. They always say snow in April. Well, yes, it can snow in April. I don't know that I've heard about it in May, but here it comes. And a frosty night. Okay, another one of the garden art pillars with the roses. And here with the birds. And the rabbits. Okay, the peas have seen snow before, so it won't hurt them. And while I'm making the transition, we will talk about garden dreams, or potter's dreams. Maybe yours is to take a pottery class or a workshop, to have your own studio. Okay, mine is, I've got the studio to move my work from home and have the nursery right outside the pottery door. Problem is, I'm a mile back at the dead end dirt road. Not very technically logically advanced. I would need a few pieces of social media, a website, but the display garden is something that could attract people, and it's partially here. It just needs cleaned up a little bit. An accent plant added, a piece of sculpture. I have a lot of natural setting, and I do have a sculpture garden here, maybe with uh, daily hours and monthly events, but I haven't worked from home. And not being here means bits of plastic, nursery pots, broken pottery have stacked up and need cleaned up. But uh, once somebody traded me a greenhouse for plants from the nursery, 20 by 30, it would fit right here. Right here, outside the pottery door. Wouldn't that be a great place to work? Okay, let's see, or let's just take a look in the studio today. Okay, kiln down. I'm not in a hurry to get it. the next one that's in waiting hooked up. I won't say new, but the next one in waiting. Um, I've spent the whole winter making pots that even if the shows take place, I don't know that I'm be excited about going to this year. Uh, this space I do share with the farm, so we've got an air compressor. Now, actually, I've got a couple old kilns down that are waiting for conversions. I'd like to send that one over to Lee. And this space, okay, shared with the farm. So we got the garden tractor. We've got the chainsaws. You've seen me make the wreaths. There's a few rings left over from Christmas. And, okay, these big bowls I was doing. I'd put off for so long. Well, there's always a problem. Here's what happened there. I think the glaze might have been too thick where it was double dipped on the rim and we had some chip off so okay big project cleaning the glaze off there and reglazing but um, I will here is the bucket where we have saved and washed everything while glazing there is a let's see about uh, a quarter, half an inch of glaze settled in there. I keep saving it, and we will have a mystery glaze. Maybe add ash to it and have a ash glaze. Okay, here's uh, one of those old garden 
art columns. Um, these are made out of sewer pipe. Here's one that's old and dried up. But if you get them when they're wet, they can be dampened down, completely sculpted. Like you see this elephant here. This elephant has been in the room for a few videos now. We've tried not to mention him. But deal with subjects, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, without mentioning the elephant in the room, which may be relevant to every day. Okay, I have got a lot of this pipe in storage. If we use that up, we would have some more room to work. And if you don't have a potter's journal, now is the time to start one. So when your studio opens up again, if it's a public studio, or when you take the next class, you're ready to go. Or like me, you can step into your past and see if maybe we can take it a little different direction. We did uh, the fish columns and the turtles and the rabbit pillars. Okay, the rows. And let's see what else is here. I think I've done the musical horns uh, on an earlier video, one of my sculpture videos. Um, but it wasn't well received. I went back and watched it, okay, and it wasn't very good, so. I think last year was a vintage year in the studio. Uh, we, um, so, but this year we're going to take a little bit different direction. I was glad to find this old sculptor's journal. And I've got the pipe waiting there, ready to go. So I will say stop back next week and see what happens in the studio. We will put these guys aside for a while, but we will come back to them. And while everybody's turning away from the pottery and to the garden, okay, we will make some garden art. And I even have some ideas on if you have a rolling pin or a potter's wheel, you could make five foot tall garden pillars in your own studio. Okay, stop back.